No matter what they do, uksum billah, by Allah, the one that created the entire cosmos, there'll be millions of miles and begs. Lock me up, lock him up, lock everybody up. We're here because of God's mercy on the whole of the world. Allah is our Rahman. He is the merciful and he sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a rahmah, as a compassion for the whole of the world. And we're not here today as victims. We're not here today as demonstrators. Wallahi, we are here as teachers. We need to teach these people. We need to teach these people about justice. As Allah says in the Quran, in Allah yuhibbu al-muqsiteen. Allah loves the just. We need to teach these people out of mercy. Because when we had the Islamic principles in place, yes, Sharia law, not the Sharia law from Sky News or Fox News, the true Sharia law, when the Jews, they saw us as liberators from persecution, we need to teach them the true concept of justice. And we are here to remind them that this war and terror is chasing a phantom, it's chasing a ghost. More people die in this country because they can't pay the winter bills because of poverty. In America, more people die because of dog bites than terrorism. I don't see a war on canines. Brothers and sisters and friends, yes, we disagree with terrorism. We've told Uncle Tom many times. Wallahi by Allah, the true terrorism is capitalism in my opinion. It kills far more people because of injustice. In Africa alone in 2003, 10.6 million children died because of no food. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Brother Hamza Duz is here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Very quick message to all of the youth. Get involved in calling for justice. It is so important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He loves you if you are just. Inna Allah yuhibbul muqsiteen. And we all want Allah's love. Yes, we may chase this love and that love, but behind all of that is Allah's love, His Al Wudud, the loving. And Allah is saying, if you call for justice, if you are just, in Allah yuhibbul muqsiteen. Indeed, unquestionably, Allah loves the just. The just. So if you want to be loved, call for justice. May Allah bless you. Asalaamu Alaikum. Brother Maizan Beg reminds me of a saying that's been attributed to Ali Rajalahu An, where he said that be like the flower that leaves its fragrance to the hand that crushes it. And wallahi, when I met Maizan Beg seven or eight years ago, he reminded me of that kind of character. He was crushed by the Americans. He's crushed by this government, but his fragrance is everywhere. And that's the fragrance. We're outside the Home Office today and we're here with Cage and we're demonstrating the release of Mozambique. We're going to get the opinions of people today because what we want to see is justice. We know the history of Mozambique where he was unjustly imprisoned and tortured. So what we want to see is justice. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now the message I have for everybody considering Mozambique, he was the kind of character that would basically have integrity and compassion. He would help everybody, Muslim and non-Muslim. Everyone who's met him hasn't got a bad thing to say about him. I, I even remember the, some of the advice that he would say to me eight years ago when I used to see him. And Mozambique is like a symbol for justice in a way. And if Muslims and non-Muslims don't call for justice now and actually help Mozambique and what he actually symbolized, then we're doing injustice to ourselves. First of all, we need to be united. It's not the time for us uh, to be disunited. Even this polarization that is taking place or the government is trying to push between Muslims and Muslims should be avoided. Uh, the third thing, I advise brothers and sisters to continue giving da'wah because da'wah is the most worrying thing for those who hate Islam, for the Islamophobic people. Once we give da'wah, people are not just 
converted to Islam, but people will know the reality of Islam, which means, which leads to uh, the second point. Of course, giving the da'wah is part of our deen. Call to the way of your Lord by hikmah and by, by the best speech. Uh, I would say what Malcolm X once said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, a man who stands for nothing will fall for anything. Today, in my view, Justice is under attack, not Mozambique. Mozambique is one individual. Uh, here, the question is uh, of defending justice. If he goes down, justice go da goes down with him. So we need to stand for justice. We need to stand for people who uphold justice, who defend justice around the world. And Mozambique is definitely one of them. He is a renowned uh, human rights activist, known for his work, recognized for his sacrifices in this field so we all need to stand up for him whether you're a Muslim or an atheist or a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu doesn't really matter you all need to come together and stand for this man because standing for this man means standing for justice